The crown of thorns phenomenon, an issue unfamiliar to many, would sound like something from a Hollywood movie script. However, although this phenomenon doesn't include kings, queens and an iron throne, it does include a very venomous character. Named for its long, poisonous spines on its exterior, the crown of thorns starfish has gained a formidable reputation by eating and destroying live coral reefs. The South Pacific in particular have been experiencing large population booms known as the crown of thorns phenomenon, resulting in coral bleaching and a rapid loss of coral diversity. According to an ABC News report, one female starfish can lay up to 10,000 eggs in one breeding season. More innocent as it's portrayed, the starfish is just doing what it always has done as part of the natural marine cycle. But human activity has seen the already large breeding seasons multiply. Presenting at the University of the South Pacific in Suva this week, Dr Pascal Duma from the Research Institute of Development has been working on the issue in the Pacific for almost 10 years. He told Pacific Media Watch, climate change, spurred on by human action, may play a major role in COT population booms. There's a lot of research on what causes these outbreaks and it's not so clear yet, but we can see some, link some links with climate change, especially from the increase of sea surface temperature and the en enrichment of coastal waters in nutrients. So these would be two, main, two of the main things promoting these outbreaks. In his presentation, Dr. Pascal showed islands like Vanuatu have been the worst affected by the phenomenon, leaving behind skeletons of what used to be colourful coral bursting with marine life. Large COT clusters are also restricting villagers' access to fishing, and if stepped on by children, can cause serious illness and infection. In countries like, for example, Vanuatu, where within the last 10 years people have been experiencing more and more outbreaks and they could see uh, in their everyday life the effects you can have on the reef. For example in Santo people couldn't go to, uh, fish on the reef because there are so many of them. To decrease COT populations, researchers are working with Pacific communities on how to safely remove the starfish from the coral. Lime juice and vinegar are also used to control crown of thorn populations and are injected into the starfish which will then die within 24 hours. Dr. Pascal, along with IT engineer Sylvie Fiat, developed Oronet, an online monitoring platform previously used in Vanuatu and New Caledonia, and will now begin in Fiji this year. It relies on citizen science, by asking locals to report on observations in their regions by filling out an online form. Those involved in Oronet will be working with community leaders and NGOs to help rural communities and villages access the platform and in the long run saving the Pacific's precious coral reefs and allowing better food access for those living along the coastlines.
It relies, it relies on citizen science by asking locals to report on observations in their regions by filling out an online form. Those involved in Oronet will be working with community leaders and NGOs to help rural communities to help rural communities and 